Today's video, I'm going to cover how to do a Lincoln Sync on this 40 uh, TLRT Yamaha outboard. Yamaha has a decent manual, but it's a little confusing. It seems to jump around a bit. I've come up with a sequence that I think works pretty well as far as uh, not having to repeat the steps that you've done. So I'm going to go through that now. Before I start, go ahead and please hit the subscribe button. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is adjust the idle stop. That's right here. The manual calls for 20 millimeters. I'll show you exactly how to measure that. You can do that with one of two things. I've used a ruler before that has a metric scale on it and um, calipers is actually probably the best way to go. So let me go ahead and show you how to adjust the idle stop. That will be the first step. Let me get this cable out of the way and uh, let me show you where we start. This is the idle advanced control screw with the stop. I'm going to take a measurement real quick to see where we're at. 18.09. So this has to be lifted up a little bit to get the uh, 20 millimeters that Yamaha calls for. So let's do this. 10 millimeter wrench, Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to loosen it and I'm going to turn it in. I'm going to turn it in a full turn. and measure it there. Twenty point nine three, that's a little bit much. So I'm actually gonna turn it back a little bit, just a fraction. And see where that lands. Just small incremental adjustments till I get as close to 20 millimeters as I can. So we're at 20.10. Uh, that's pretty close to 20 millimeters. I'm going to call that done. And now we're going to tighten it up using the screwdriver and the 10 millimeter wrench. And there we have it. So the idle advance is set correctly. It should be uh, seven degrees after top that center. That's the uh, correct timing uh, advance for that. So let's go on to the next steps. We're going to be doing the adjustments um, at the uh, CDI unit for both the uh, idle advance and the full advance or the wide open throttle advance. All right, the next step is going to be adjust the timing for idle and uh, wide open throttle. So let me show you how we get that done. All right, so we're going to adjust the idle timing as well as the uh, wide open throttle timing on this. This is the uh, CDI capacitive discharge ignition is what it stands for. CDI also happens to be the uh, name of the manufacturer for this one. So let me go ahead and show you how to adjust the idle timing. What we want to do is first off let's loosen this little bolt up here this is an eight millimeter and then what I like to do is take a uh, 10 millimeter and use that to pop it off just gently pop it off now the timing was somewhat retarded it was right about there uh, we want to adjust it so it's between the two that would put it at um, seven degrees uh, after top dead center. So what we're going to have to do to do that is move this out. Alright, so that's got us right in between those two lines. That's the adjustment um, for seven degrees after top dead center for retarded timing. And I'm going to tighten this up. I also like to do is uh, I've got this uh, nine millimeter wrench just to hold that steady while I tighten it. And that should hold. Now the next thing that we're going to do is adjust the wide open throttle. So I'm going to put the throttle in the wide open position and we'll see where this lands. And it's a little bit retarded. It should really be right on the uh, line there. 
that would give us uh, 25 degrees before top dead center. To do that, we're going to use this adjusting screw. That'll adjust the wide open throttle timing. And I'm going to loosen this with a 10 millimeter wrench. What I want to do is turn the screw out. That should uh, lift this up and get that aligned with that timing mark there. And I am pushing up on this just to make sure we're at the right position. Let's tighten that up. And we'll test it with the throttle itself. So let's go to the idle position. And actually it looks a little bit too, too advanced. Let's go full throttle. And that looks good. Um, let's go back to the idle position. And I'm going to readjust that. So one thing to remember when you change the idle, it actually uh, will affect the wide open throttle one as well. Cycle it. All right, and, back. and it still needs to. It's a little bit too advanced. Right. All right, cycle it. That's perfect. We've got seven degrees after top dead center since it's right between these two lines, and full throttle is right on that mark which is 25 degrees before top dead center so the timing is uh, spot on right now everything's tightened down um, let's just put it back in, uh, in the idle mode and uh, go on from there so the next step is going to be adjusting the throttle itself um, max throttle there's a stop this is going to be a little difficult to film but I'm going to do my best to show you exactly what we're uh, looking at we'll be adjusting this so that on full throttle it hits this stop which is really hard to see so the the bottom carburetor there's a little stop that protrudes in the back of it and at full throttle it should hit this so let me position the camera to try to get as good a shot as we can on this and I'll show you how to uh, how to get that adjusted all right we're gonna adjust the control to be in the full throttle position Now comes the fun part. There's a little screw right here. You can see me on it. This is on the bottom carb, the throttle control. To loosen that screw, you want to turn clockwise. Now if you notice, there's a stop. So right now in full throttle, make sure this is in full throttle. We're gonna back this up so it's touching this guy. All right, put it back in idle, please. Okay, now put it in full throttle. And it is, it's just about hitting the stop, so that's perfect. All right, one last step. And that's going to be making sure this cable is adjusted correctly. I just took this little clip out. And I'm going to pull the cable off. Because in idle, what should be happening is that this should line up perfectly. This hole should line up perfectly with the, with this. And it can go in or out. This is already loose. I'll tighten it up. It's eight millimeters. So it looks like we may have to go in. Now, hard lesson learned. Make sure this is in the up position where it says up. 
if you don't it's going to lock up and be hard to shift it's actually really didn't need any adjusting but you want to make sure that that is spot on right there and let's get this back in here all right one last set of adjustments and we'll be done when you're adjusting the throttle cable one thing you might find is that you may have to adjust the cable length in the uh, control box unfortunately that is kind of a bit of a pain in the butt i might do a video on doing that later um, i went ahead and adjusted this one already because it was out of spec yamaha does advise there should be at least eight millimeter or 0.31 inch of thread inside the control that you're hooking up that comes from the throttle cable if there's not or you have to thread it out more than that then you really need to adjust the cable at the control box because uh, you could create a dangerous situation if you don't so we're looking at the linkage for the carburetors and what we want to do is loosen up what we want to do is loosen up the carburetors again this is clockwise loosens it And we want to make sure they're all in sync, basically is what we're doing. So what I'm going to do is back off the idle screw, idle control. And these should all now be in the same position. And counterclockwise to tighten. Notice I'm timing them all off the bottom one because that one has the wide open throttle stop. There's one more thing that we can do. And that's, I'm going to show you how to adjust the uh, idle mixture on these carburetors. So the idle control for the carburetor on these Yamahas is right here. Uh, excuse me, the idle mixture. And I'm going to tighten this all the way. It's half, one, and a half basically, a little bit less than a half. So I've got it closed. I'm going to open it up uh, one and a half, which is the spec for the uh, 40 horsepower. So I'm going to go half, one and a half, and they actually give you a little bit of a variation, plus or minus a quarter turn. So you want to do that on all your uh, on all your carbs, and you might could tweak them after that. The last thing you want to do is adjust the idle speed. This is backed off. So right now I'm just going to put it in just enough to get it get it moving. And um, I'm not going to start the engine right now, but later on what I'll do is I'll start the engine. I'll hook up a tachometer to it and uh, just get it to uh, 850, 900 RPM, which is where it should be. All right, so that's it. Uh, I've got this motor linked and synced. Um, I hope this video has been helpful to you. I definitely would appreciate some comments if you've got any advice, tips, or see anything that you'd like to comment on. I would appreciate that very much. Anyway, before you sign off, please hit the subscribe button, and uh, thank you for watching.